20 years you have been doing this. You have been having a lot of fun, and the best is yet to come. How are you tonight? Thank you for being here. Cosplay is a gift. It's a gift that everybody shares. It's a way of saying, I like this, and I want you all to know, and I hope you appreciate it. And for the next little while or so, we're going to see some great people walking the stage, sharing their love of these characters with you. So let's give them a round of applause for that, right out of the gate. Now. This doesn't is in a vacuum. We also have some also help. We have some fine sponsors. Those sponsors are the Nebraska Furniture Mart is providing $6,000 in prizes. <laughs> Granted, we got a lot of prizes to give out now, but that's all. We also have the U.S. Toy Magic and Costume Shop also providing over $900 in gift certificates to the winners. A round of applause for them. Prop Costumes is providing custom Planet Comic Con Kansas City trophies to all our winners. Our, our ALC of Translator, everybody, a round of applause for her and the fine work she's doing. And with that to say, we have to have also a good shout out to to our, our team, Brian Stout, Tamara, and Tiffany. They're running things backstage. Please get a round of applause for them. So to get us warmed up, okay, what we've got is, we've got a little video we'd like to show for all of us, okay? This is specifically for the cosplay community in the Kansas City area. And it's a free preview of, it's a cosplay documentary called What We Can Be. It's by local cosplayer and filmmaker Nicholas Young, okay? And what, and it's called What, Can, what We Can Be Unmasked Kansas City Cosplayers. Revealing their triumphs, struggles, courage to inspire acceptance over hate. And you can follow there's more information on this at their Facebook page and their Instagram at what we can be. So with that being said, Smokey, let's roll it! I've seen just such the greatest transformation. I don't know when it happened, like if it's like you put on a mask or you put on a wig or like you finish putting on gloves and then you're there. Excitement on top of anxiety on top of Enjoy that you get to see all your friends and wear this costume that you probably work really hard on. When my youngest was Tinkerbell, and she chased my son Peter Pan around the garden all day. Kept trying to kiss him on the cheek because she thought it was fun. We've had a lot of dads like run across and be like, oh my god, Thundercats! And, and so it's really cool to kind of watch adults sort of transform back into their child when they see an iconic character. When I first entered the Kansas City community, I was just welcomed with open arms and everyone was so positive and so uplifting. Uh, no matter what you wanted to do, no matter what your cosplay was, or whether or not you made it or you didn't make it. You have everyone from different walks of life all kind of coming together to celebrate characters and fandom. It's just something about spreading that joy that makes cosplay so addictive. People are smiling, they're having a good time, they're laughing. It brings a lot of satisfaction in both the cosplayers and to the people attending the event. There's so many like-minded individuals that, like, when they come together collectively, everyone can be themselves. You can't have a really good contest without really good judges. So with that being said, let me please introduce your judges for the 2019 Planet Comic Con Costume Contest. First, please welcome to the stage, Orange Go Fish. 
Orange Girl Fish is from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and loves the way cosplay photography gets others to smile. Her interests also include collaborating with friends to create memorable cosplay groups and volunteering. Orange Girl Fish has volunteered in groups such as Over 30 Cosplay, Costumers with a Cause, Midwest, Cosplayer Nation, The Age of Geeks, Comic Booked, and other organizations, as well as writing for Geek 3 HQ and Comic Booked. Orange Girl Fish's most memorable cosplays are fabricating the Red Queen with a Wasteland Alice group from SKS props, Foam smithing for Doc Matrix from Spaceballs, and wearing the Inquisitor Warhammer 40k Road Traders from Kosovar Studios. Long live the Emperor! You can now see more of her work at her Instagram at Orange Go Fish or her Facebook page, Jen Greeley. <laughs> next, please welcome your next judge, Cheeky Cheetah! Cheeky Cheetah started cosplaying in 2014 when her four-year-old son wanted her to help him make a costume. Since then, she has become award-winning cosplayer, including Best Foam Work Master at Planet Comic Con Kansas City 2018, Best Show at Tokyo and Tulsa 2017, First Place in the Dallas Fan Expo Masters of Cosplay Contest 2018. She has also been featured cosplay contest judge and guest at several conventions and is also highly involved with children's organizations. You can follow her on her Facebook and Instagram at Cheeky Cheetah cosplay next look at the stage team whatever cosplay team whatever cosplay consists of Elsie Mann and Teresa Xerbos they have been competing and judging at competitions all around the country since 2006 and have been featured in Cosplay in America, Volume 2. Teresa specializes in tailoring, pattern drafting, and skit writing. In contrast, Elsie's abilities lie in props, wigs, and makeup, and melt these skills together in their musical skit parodies. Team Whatever Cosplay, ladies and gentlemen. And next, I have shared the stage with them before. Please welcome to the stage, Kamui Cosplay. <laughs> Kamui Cosplay is the husband and wife team of Silvetta and Benny from Germany. Silvetta is an internationally acclaimed costume designer, author, teacher, and video creator from Deutschland. With over 15 years' experience, she and Benny have created many award-winning costumes and published a series of highly popular international books. Kami loves to travel, judge costume competitions, and give talks and presentations at conventions around the world, supporting newcomers as well as veterans with creating their own costume projects. Woo! Ah, uh, vo 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 Lines, good to see you again. All right, judges, any last minute advice for all of our panelists out there? Keep a cool head and we would love to see your performances. You will rock the show, and we're super excited to see you all. Do your best and have a blast. Show us your stuff. It's all about having fun. Woo! So how about that, Patacon? Are you ready to have some fun? Are you ready to begin? with our novice category. Ladies and gentlemen, opening our show, please give it up for Glenn and the X01 Power Armor from Fallout.
I need that guy to follow me around every convention. Do that about three o'clock in the afternoon. All right. <laughs> Next, welcome to the stage, Paul as Iron Man from Marvel Comics. <laughs> from Ghostbusters. from Disney. fight one of those chairs next year. Oh, boy. <laughs> next, give it up for Catherine as Pyronikos from Ruby from Rooster Teeth. from Overwatch. <laughs> Next we have Candace as Harley Quinn from DC. Ah, 
Alex's greatest enemy are the stairs. <laughs> yeah, I know, until later on then so they can hover. All right, next, look at the stage, Cody as Darth Maul from Star Wars. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
Next one on the stage, Dustin as Gambit from X-Men. Give us, give us a little bit of the accent. Well, uh, more of me. I guess I could give you a little bit of Gambit's accent. <laughs> <laughs> Next, what the stage? Kai Power Cosplay as Charizard from Pokemon. Next, we have Morgan as Molly Bottili from Critical Role. <laughs> Next, we're going to say is Tracy Cupcake as Valkyrie from Marvel. Next, welcome to the stage, Becky as Bernie the Reaper from Top Cow Image Comics. <laughs> Next, we have Richard as the Lone Wanderer from Fallout. Why, you cheeky tin can, you. Mm. Coming up next, we will have Ryan as Dante from Capcom. Next, please welcome Ashley as Snow Fright from Power Rangers. <laughs> Spooky. Next, we have Iridescent Vampire as Cinderfall from Ruby. Next, please welcome David as Aquaman from DC. <laughs> you lost a piece, Cinderella, Cinderella. <laughs> Next, please welcome to the stage, Baroness Fonte as Cold Flame Kaltaz from World of Warcraft. She's smoking! She's on fire! Get a bucket! Next, we have Meredith as Laura Croft from Rise of the Tomb Raider. Next, we have Avery and Abigail from Phantom of the Opera and Christine.
It's not so bad. <laughs> Next, walk on the stage, Morgan as Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. And next, welcome Kaisley as Cinderella from Walt Disney. Wait, wait, do we get the shoes? Whoa, we can see through them. <laughs> next, we have Sleepy Panda Designs as McCree from Overwatch. What time is it? It's high noon. Yeah! Next, welcome to the stage, Ben as Old Link from Nintendo. Welcome Shadow Cat Cosplay as Angelon from Digimon! <laughs> Next, from Crazy Costumes, we have Odin himself, the Allfather from Thor! our teachers, our police officers, firefighters, and our veterans. May you all find passage to Valhalla. <laughs> Next, welcome to stage Twitchy Squirrel as Dread Queen Raven from Monster Hunter. Next, welcome to the stage, Stay Sam as Queen Abadala from Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. <laughs> I 
call for a vote of no confidence. <laughs> Next on the stage, Rose as Glinda the Good Witch from Wizard of Oz. So I just, just do this, right? Three times, one, two, just, but I'm already in Kansas. That's true, that's true, that's true. But I... Shut up! I'm from Orlando, okay? All right, enjoy this. How do I get back to Orlando? Oh, well, I don't have any shoes for you. Absolutely. Apparently, for not knowing my Kansas is, I'm bad all around. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you, my dear. Good luck. Round of applause for Glenda. <laughs> and another round for my faux pas. <laughs> all right, welcome to the stage, Amanda and Papa Bear from the Angel of Death, Hellboy, Delta, Dark Horse Comics. So you have to let us go. Callum, it's all right. I have slain many a monster. Do it. Go ahead, take another shot. But next time, I'll swing my blade and it's the end for him. Move, human. Our next performers are Tom, John, Chad, and Kelly as Terminator, John Connor, Sarah Connor, and the T-1000 from Terminator 2. We don't have much time. Skynet has taken over. We've time traveled here to the 20th anniversary for one reason, to bring down Cyberdyne systems. The system went online August 4th, 1997. <laughs> In two years, Planet Comic Con Kansas City began growing at an exponential rate. 
We knew it would take 20 years for you to be ready. Mom, don't worry. We've got a room filled with the most tactically trained warriors on the planet. And we've got a freaking Terminator. Terminator, stand on one foot. This is tactically dangerous. Hasta la vista, baby. Enter box. I'm keeping this. This is nice. Next, walk up the stage, we have Amber, Kayla, and Carol as Fashani Carter, Collins Carol, McKenna Kelsey, Empress of Hearts, Jabberwocky Gladiator, Alice Gladiator, Mad Hatter Gladiator, White Rabbit Gladiator, Cheshire Clack Gladiator, and that's all I've got. People of Wonderland, your Empress of Hearts promised you the most amazing Gladiator challenge. My Jabberwocky has been undefeated. However, we scoured every inch of Wonderland, and we found some, well, they think they're great, but we think they're pathetic. Gladiators, please come on. Jabberwocky, choose your contender. We have here the Cheshire. We know the Cheshire is very sneaky. She's just going to run away. Who's next? Jabberwocky, choose your next one. Here we have the Mad Hatter. Of course, crazy as a loon. I don't think she can take my Jabberwocky. Jabberwocky, do you choose her? No, she's not good enough. Next we have the White Rabbit. Always a little late. Definitely late this time. She's no match. Jabberwocky, is her heart good enough? She's too scared. Next, now this one's a little new. We haven't seen her around the gladiator circus. Who is this? Jabberwocky, test her. Oh, I think we have a contender. Wonderland, our new contender, Alice, and my champion, Jabberwocky. She still doesn't stand a chance. Thank you. but I know it's awesome when I see it. Keep that, that's, that's a great design right there. Next, we have Terry, Melissa, Rachel, Matthew, Victoria, Micah, as Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, Harry Potter, Sirius Black, Doris Umbrez, Brother Dix of Strange from Harry Potter.
I feel you, bro. I feel you. I feel you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our group category. A round of applause for all of them. Well, uh, judges, I do not envy you. You have some very difficult decisions to make, so uh, we await your decision. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have some of our featured cosplayers coming up to our stages. Opening that, please welcome to our stage, Another Castle Creations. Another Castle Creations is a cosplay group of five friends that have been cosplaying together in the Midwest for several years. Some of their favorite parts of cosplay are crafting the outfits from scratch and getting to bring some of their favorite characters to life. costume in 2014 has since taught himself sewing and crafting skills, especially for creating foam props. You might as well find him wandering around the convention with this camera, as photography is another one of his passions. Also in the group, Ruby Silverado, created her first real costume in 2012, has been hooked ever since. From her first costume to her most recent creations, Ruby is constantly working to improve upon her skills. An accomplished seamstress, she has recently begun to branch out and teach herself foam work. Cassandra Jade and Luna Flair could not be here tonight, but we do have Lydia Hartwell, yes! Created her first costume several years ago, and before the convention was even over, was already planning her next. Creating costumes has allowed her to express her creativity through crafting, sewing, and cosplay. This is another Castle Creations! Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, who's, who, who's speaking to the group here? Okay, I, okay, so tell us a little, tell us a little more about, about this. Oh, sure. So uh, we decided to do uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, probably the best Zelda game in my personal opinion. Um, so uh, Ruby taught herself foam work, um, and she made all of this. Uh, the Farnsworth, uh, he 3D printed the sword, but Ruby put it all together, did all the finishing touches. Uh, her tunic is hand-painted, and she actually, her lines are like, perfection, <laughs> and I'm super jealous. Um, and she made her quiver on the back, it's all made out of foam as well. And she uh, put all of her belts together. And, oh, and then the Farnsworth is the uh, old man from the very beginning of the game when you first wake up. And um, he, this is uh, fairy lights that are inside. This is all foam, um, pink insulation foam, and then PVC pipe that he's hand painted and weathered using several different techniques. Uh, he sewed and actually 3D designed his own buttons to the top of here. Um, and styled his wig and did all of that together. Very nice, very nice. Uh, do you have any social media outlets that we can follow you on? Yeah, we're on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, it's another castle creation. Very nice. And can you give us a good action pose? <laughs> another castle creation. Thank you so much for joining us. Hold on, my pages are misprinted. <laughs> Missy Mayhem, is that next? Right, 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 right. Oh, hi, okay, hi, please welcome to our stage, Missy Mayhem. Missy Mayhem is an internationally traveled, award-winning cosplayer, wrestler, and viral content creator with over a decade of experience. She is best known for her cosplays of her Goku from God Dragon Ball Z. She's a member of the International Brotherhood of Magicians, and during her time as a professional wrestler, she's worked along with such guests as The Boogeyman, Teddy Long, and Daryl Scott Hall himself. Today, I am cosplaying Lady Death from the Lady Death comics, and uh, I, she's a very powerful character, so I feel like bomb in this. It's very nice to be up here right now. Um, 
<laughs> Let's switch it. But uh, yes, this is really good. Because, uh, Brian Polito uh, is a good friend of mine, and uh, so I see all the time. This is a really outstanding job. So, what is it about Lady Death? Because she actually has a very good character arc and also a tragic arc. What sort of appeal does this character to you? I kind of really identify with the tragedy. I don't know. I have like, I, I get sad. I'm a sad boy for life. Okay, so. I, I feel like I have a lot of tragedy in my life, and then she comes out more powerful at the end. So I just really identify with that. Very awesome, very awesome. What uh, social media outlets can we follow you on? You can find me easily at my website, cultofmayhem.com. Feel free to join my cult. Um, and everything, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok of all things, uh, all of it's at Cult of Mayhem. Very nice. Do you have any uh, upcoming projects uh, kind of that you'd like to let us know about? Um, I'm working on a uh, Shinron from Dragon Ball, so that's going to be awesome. We'll follow her on that, and we'll love to see some pictures of that. Give it up for our cosplayer, ladies and gentlemen. Give us one really good action fight. Give one, give one, lady jack. Yeah. 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 Missy Mayhem, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and next, our future cosplayers, please welcome to the stage Christina Dark. Christina Dark is an international cosplayer, published model, and actress from Dallas, Texas. She's been cosplaying for nine years and best known for her Blue Beetle and Catwoman cosplays. Yeah. So tell us about uh, this version of uh, Jaime. Uh, I am Gender Benny Jaime Reyes from Young Justice and Gender Benny to Jamie Reyes. And I associate with this character so much because I'm also from El Paso, Texas, so I feel like I have to do this character that's from my hometown, and I'm all about Hispanic representation. And so I felt like I need to represent my city and do a Latin character. Very nice. Any other uh, characters or repertoire like that? Oh, oh my gosh, I don't know. I think I just, this one hits home for me. Absolutely, absolutely. You do this character. Now, did you uh, stop by Keith Gibbons' table and show him this? Sorry, I'm having that. Stop by uh, Keith Gibbons' table, the co-creator of this version. I have it. Is he... He's here. Yes, he's here. Yes, Keith Gibbons is a guest here. Ah, oh, dang. So if you got this tomorrow, go ahead and stop by his table. We'll definitely do, like, a double tomorrow. But yeah. Yeah. I'll kind of show you my little... Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, what social media outlets can we follow you on? You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Christina Dark Cosplay and Twitter at Christina Dark 2. Two. Electric Boogaloo. Nobody else is close. <laughs> All right, this is very, very excellent. Thank you so much for sharing this off with us. Thank you. Another round of applause for Christina Dark. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes on that. Those are all of our featured cosplayers. So folks, how are we doing so far? <laughs> We're doing our favorite game. We're good. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. You know what? We've got I have seen some great cosplays here on stage. But you know what else? I think we got some good ones out here too. I'll tell you what, can we get the house lights up please? Get the house lights up. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. This is good. This is all right, and speaking of ladies and gentlemen, I have just been given the high sign that our judges, yeah, I know, okay, <laughs> that our judges are ready. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to hear some of our winners? Oh, come on, you waited this long. Are you ready to see and hear some of our winners? Alright, but before I read off this list, before I start this off, I would like to call for please, let's have one more final round of applause for all of our contestants. <laughs> and keep it going for all of their friends, all their families, okay? Their support network. Keep it going. If you were there for a friend and you had to stay up with them all night, trolling through eBay and Etsy and Amazon and AliExpress trying to find that one prop. 
Keep it going, okay? For that nice lady down at the craft store that helps you find that pattern. Keep it going for anybody who's ever stuck themselves with a needle. Keep it going for anyone who's ever burned themselves with a glue gun. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, Our, 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 our judges joining us? <laughs> what? Judge's choice. Judge's choice. Well, then you should come on out and do this. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, for judges, um, favorite for me, uh, foam work category had a lot of really good foam work builds. And so for my judge's favorite, I chose Bruce Holt for Odin. <laughs> if you look at his um, foam work, his, his headpiece is immaculate. The foam details, the lines, everything is sealed fantastically. He did an amazing job airbrushing as well as bringing in some mixed media, so that's why I chose him as mine. Go ahead, on this side. All of our winners, we can't go ahead and center with the side over there. Team Whatever Cosplay, why don't you come on up and tell us who your judge's choice was. Hello. You had, you had some hard work, didn't you? <laughs> it was really difficult. Um, I mean, I had a great time judging, but everybody was so amazing. Uh, for my judge's choice, it was a really difficult one, but this one really, really impressed me with all the work that they went through. Mine is uh, entry number two, Paul as Iron Man. <laughs> Woo! He not only went through and did the Pepecura, and if anybody's done that before, it's tiny little pieces of paper that you glue together or tape together to make it to the form that you want. He did that and then modeled it into 3D printing and then printed it off and then finished it. And that, like, that's a whole extra strip that really impressed me. Absolutely, absolutely. And here comes Mr. Stark right now. Ooh, we're not supposed to know that, are we? <laughs> Didn't he tell everybody? So it's fine. Oh, that's his bodyguard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. And you... Congratulations to our Iron Man, ladies and gentlemen! All right, boss, go ahead and stand out over there. And you, my dear. I'm Elise from Team Whatever Cosplay. And I say, and my absolute favorite, um... It, they're getting him ready because it's going to be, a, like, I had to give him a heads up because my favorite is number 10, Dalek Rebus, the steampunk Dalek. Woo! Okay, and this was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Pretty much everything was upcycled. The case, that's a 50s style personal sauna. It's got a wheelchair base underneath. I was going to say, I, all these thick components are just um, well and above the top. I say, congratulations, you did such a good job. <laughs> On the ice lock, of course, of course. Round of applause for that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, hello, my dear. And uh, who, is, uh, who is your pick this year? Oh, he's kind of a lone dude. He kind of likes to be by himself, but everybody wants him to be with them when they need him. It's uh, The Lone Wanderer by Richard Shipley. This guy is amazing. Um, not only is he an excellent fighter, but his foam work is absolutely incredible. It's super functional. He uh, not only made um, excellent shoes to walk in and uh, form-fitting armor, which sometimes you can make it too big or too small, but it's super perfect. But his, uh, his rust and his uh, paint job 
was absolutely incredible, and that helmet, it's amazing. Well done. Thank you. Next, let's bring out to the stage my favorite cosplay front line, Cowboy Cosplay. Come on up and join us. Hello, my dear, and who was your pick this year? My judge's choice goes to Tracy Cupcake as Valkyrie from Marvel. And my decision was uh, based on because she used plenty of different techniques. Like she completely 3D modeled her armor uh, and printed it out and also sanded, painted it. Also she designed her own fabric, also let it print out online. She did uh, also a lot of armor work, a lot of armor, uh, foam and stuff. And like I really enjoy if somebody takes the challenge and tries to master plenty of different techniques and materials and you Valkyrie, you come on join us. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about you. <laughs> sharing this awesome passion with us. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our recipient of our Judges Choice Awards category. Give a round of applause for all that. Each of these winners, along with their trophy, also receive a $100 gift certificate from U.S. Toy. Thank you again, U.S. Toy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into the heavy stuff. We are now getting into our Domus' category. Under the subcategory of needlework, of our prize of headphones and a $100 U.S. toy gift card, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart, give it up for Jessica as Maleficent from Disney! In the category of Best Novice Foam Work, for another prize of headphones and $100 U.S. gift card, courtesy of Raspberry Virtual Mart, give it up for Dash Cosplay as Bone Hunter Monster Hunter World! courtesy of Nebraska Furniture, uh, Furniture Mart. Welcome back to the stage, Morgan as Molly Mock from Critical Role! of Nebraska Furniture Mart. Welcome back to the stage, Baroness Von T. as Khalil Thaz from World of Warcraft! <laughs> Under the journeyman category of mixed media for a prize of a 12-piece cook set, Headphones, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart. Welcome back to the stage, Dea as Aquaman from DC! <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the journeyman category, which means, are you ready for the masters? 
Master Needlework for a prize of a Dyson Pure Hot and Cold Purifier, Krups Belgian Four Slice Waffle Maker, and $50 Amex gift card, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mark. Welcome back to the stage, Sam as Queen of Adela from Star Wars! <laughs> Next, under the master category of foam work, for a prize of an all-clad non-stick 10-piece set, Brave and 850 wireless speaker, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart. Welcome back to the stage, Twitchy Squirrel as Drag Queen Monster Hunter. They're finding him. Okay. <laughs> this happens. For the best master of mixed media, for prize of PKK keyboard, Logitech 640 mouse pad, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart. Welcome back to the stage, Ben as Old Link Legend of Zelda. Oh, wait, and there, there's our monster hunter. No, stick around, stick around, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our master's category. Now, we have two left. Are you ready for the winner of the group category? Oh, Old Link's, okay, we still have to win. All right, oh, we are, we're in for Old Link, of course. Because, he, uh... <laughs> He's getting there, all right, just, did I win something, or? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, for our best group category, for a prize of three portable speakers, headphones, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart, welcome back to the stage, our Alice in Wonderland group. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Best in show. Are you ready? This is best in show. Are you ready? Planet Comic Con 2019 for winner of a T-Cell Detail 65-inch Roco LED high-definition TV and audio technician headphones, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart. Please welcome back to the stage your best in show winner, Molly as Brigitte from Overwatch! And that would be, please welcome to the stage, welcome back to the stage, Avin as Kyla from League of Legends! Thanks to all of our entrants, thanks to our judging committee, thanks
thanks to our producers, and most of all, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you tomorrow. We have more events coming up.